Hello and welcome to the Pastor's Corner. In my recent devotionals, we have been looking at how we as followers of Christ are to live as a body of believers. We are not to live as the unbelievers live. Instead, we are to put off our old former way of life and put on our new inner self, which has been created according to Christ's likeness in righteousness and purity of the truth. This requires a renewal of our way of thinking. Let us read chapter 4, verses 31 to 32, as we read a summary of verses 17 to 29, and notice what we are to put off and what we are to put on. Let all bitterness, anger, and wrath, shouting and slander be removed from you, along with all malice. And be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving one another, just as God also forgave you in Christ. Verse 31 and 32 are a short summary of the characteristics of our former way of life that we are to put off and characteristics of our new inner self that we are to put on. The focus in verse 31 is on anger and filthy speech. Bitterness, anger, and wrath are grouped together. Anger and wrath are synonyms. When we are angry and full of wrath, they consume our whole being, especially our mind. If anger and wrath are not dealt with quickly, they can result in bitterness and broken relationships between ourselves and others. Anger and wrath not only lead to bitterness, but they also lead us to say things to others that we later regret. When we are angry, we yell and shout. When we are angry, we slander others by saying things about them which are not true. Malice includes speaking evil about someone else or thinking evil thoughts about someone else. We must put aside all of these characteristics of our former way of life that we are holding on to. These evil characteristics must be put aside because they cause people to hate others and they cause broken relationships with others. Instead of these evil characteristics, we should be kind and compassionate to one another. Kindness means benevolence and goodness, which is the opposite of malice. Compassion means that we feel what others feel and we sympathize with what others are dealing with. In addition, we must forgive each other. And this is a core characteristic of a Christian. Unforgiveness results in malice, anger, and bitterness. Forgiveness results in kindness, goodness, and love. Sometimes it's difficult to forgive others and love others when they treat us badly. We are hurt by others' actions we want to reciprocate. But we need to think about how much we grieve the Holy Spirit when we are angry and wrathful against each other and hold bitterness in our hearts and unforgiveness in our hearts against each other. Think about how much we grieve the Holy Spirit when we yell and shout at others and slander others. How can children of God who have been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb and sealed with the Holy Spirit hold on to these evil, sinful characteristics? Christ died to take away our sins and to bring us into relationship with God. If God loved us so much that he sent his only beloved son to die on the cross for us so that we might have forgiveness and so that we might be brought into a relationship with the Heavenly Father, shouldn't we forgive others for the things that they have done against us? Let us, as followers of Jesus Christ, put off these evil deeds that divide us and cause broken relationships. Let us instead put on the characteristics of Christ, kindness, compassion, forgiveness, humility, and love. If we have these characteristics of Christ, we will have good relationships with others in the church and outside the church, and we will demonstrate to others that we are indeed children of God. Let us always remember that as children of God and fellow heirs with Christ, we should always reflect God's character in our lives. Once these characteristics fill our lives, there will be unity in the church, as there is unity among God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord God, I pray that we might put off all of those things, Lord God, that are not of you. Those things from our former way of lives that, are, that we're holding on to, that are holding us down. Let us put all those aside. Put them off as we put off a shirt, and let us put on instead faithfulness, kindness, gentleness, humility, forgiveness, and love. 
Lord God, especially let us people be people of forgiveness, Lord God. There's so much unforgiveness in this world, so much bitterness in this world. Let us not be like them, Lord God. Let us be people of, that forgive and that love, regardless of what others do to us, because we have been forgiven for so much, for so much sin. We need to also forgive others for what they have done against us. Help us, Lord God, to be pleasing children of God to you, and that we might walk with Christ in humility, love, and forgiveness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.